Chapter 338, There's a Mole, 2. Qi Chanjing tried and found that the results were about the same. His Highness the Crown Prince is amazing. Li Daitong laughed. He thought that the royal family had long been prepared and used a special array flag to directly destroy part of the operation of the array formation. Princess Wuxi did not say anything. This person could even break through the heavenly prison array that had been operating in Great Kion for thousands of years. It was not a big deal for him to affect the operation of the array formation here. Her calmness proved to Li Daedong and the others that the royal family had long been prepared. Even Ma Deo believed it, even though it was Song Shi who disguised himself as Qian Wuji and suddenly joined in the battle. Don't suck up anymore, kill! Song Shi threw out two more array flags. With a shattering sound, even the array formation's power that protected the two was broken. He ordered coldly, don't hold back, kill him directly. The three people blocked by the array formation charged over again. Tian Mozi and Qi Changying's expressions were ugly as they were forced into danger. The array formation is affected by him, we're not his match, let's split up and escape. Tian Mozi secretly transmitted his voice. Now that something unexpected had happened, they could only choose to retreat unscathed. They no longer hoped to trap the entire Qian Dragon Army. I know, let's go to our respective escape positions. Qi Changying's face was cold as he fought and retreated. This was their home ground. Although he was obviously at a disadvantage, his life was not in danger for the time being. He had a chance to escape. The narrow underground space did indeed restrict the battle, so Ma Deo and Li Daedong were unable to take them down for the time being. Song Shi was not in a hurry to attack, it was mainly because it was easy to expose himself if he attacked. After all, just because they looked similar did not mean that their nomological powers and divine powers were identical. However, he could just influence the array formation from the side. This method was actually more helpful. Tian Mo's greatest reliance was the array formations here. Without the help of the array formation power, the two of them were chased like stray dogs. Seeing the two of them escape separately, Song Shi thought for a moment and continued to target Tian Mozi. Since this person was the successor of Sky Demon Cult, the value of capturing him would be even greater. The two of them, who had retreated skillfully, could not use the array formation anymore. They could only escape through the back door that they had left in advance and acted separately. Please help us chase after that person. He's an important figure in the Sky Demon Cult's research on the demon race. If we can capture him, it will help us deal with the demon army. Princess Wu Shi sent a voice transmission to Song Shi anxiously, asking him to help chase after the other person, not Tian Mozi. We can't capture them alive. They have a contract on them. It's impossible for them to reveal any core secrets to you. I think it's better to kill them directly. All right, then please help Ma Deo kill him. After Princess Wuxi finished speaking, she followed Li Daedong into a secret passage to chase after Tian Mozi. Song Shi looked to the other side. It was as if Qi Changying had transformed into a cat. His movements were exceptionally agile, and he was about to shake off Ma Deo. This guy studies hybrids every day. I bet he's a mutant himself. Previously, he had circled the area below, but he had not only seen those monsters. In fact, he had also studied the array formation here. Now that he had cracked it, he could control it immediately at will and control it for a short period of time. For example, when he formed a hand seal, the tunnel in front of Qi Changying suddenly collapsed with a rumble, sealing off his escape route. Damn it! Kitchen Jiang's face darkened. Coincidentally, the passageway collapsed at this moment, blocking his path. He still did not think that Qian Wuji was actually Song Shi. He also did not expect even this part of the array formation here. Had already been controlled and thought that it was just an unlucky coincidence. You can't escape. Die. Ma Deo seized the opportunity to strike with his mace. With a boom, many rocks were reduced to dust. The terrifying illuminate caused a portion of the tunnel to collapse. Qi Changying grunted and retreated to the edge. When he saw Qian Wuji chasing after him from afar, he gritted his teeth and formed a seal. Demon Spirit Transformation 
With a low shout, his body squirmed, and a wave of dim light erupted. His clothes were torn open, and a layer of scales appeared on his body. His nails became sharp, like a wild beast. In the blink of an eye, he actually turned into a pangolin. He lowered his body, raised his claws, and waved them quickly. Hua, hua, hua. The stone was dug open, and his body carried a special power. In the blink of an eye, he crawled into the collapsed rubble and passed through the other side. Madeo hurriedly attacked again. Other than shattering some of the rubble, he did not manage to catch Qi Changying. Song Shi, who was following behind, was dumbfounded. This guy can even shapeshift. He looked like a cat just now, but now he's a pangolin? Your Highness, this guy has fused with the bloodline of many mutated beasts and is known as the Hundred Beast Demon Lord. I think he'll escape this time. Ma Deo felt a little helpless. Initially, he was pleasantly surprised that Qi Changying's path was blocked, but now, it was them who were blocked. Who said that? This passageway is blocked. We have other channels to go through. Song Shi formed a hand seal and the array formation power relocated, forming a teleportation formation. This was the basic function of many large arrays, especially in large sects. Teleportation arrays were required for convenience. The array formations here naturally had this function. If he hadn't interrupted Qi Changying and company's crowd control array formation in time, the other party could have used this method to leave quickly. And if Ma Deo and company were trapped, it would be very difficult to pursue them. His Highness the Crown Prince is so powerful. He actually controlled a portion of the array formations here so quickly, especially the teleportation formation. Ma Deo was overjoyed and hurriedly stood on the teleportation array. The array formation power formed a circular teleportation range on the ground. Then, the void twisted, and the two of them directly crossed the collapsed area through the array formation and arrived in front of Qi Changying. Swoosh! That woe of them appeared out of thin air, startling Qi Changying. The latter turned into a cat again, and all the fur on his body stood on end. It was obvious that he was really shocked. You how can you use the teleportation array? He was shocked. Even we can't use it. That's impossible. The authority of the teleportation array was the core function of a comprehensive array formation. How could it be controlled by these enemies? Could it be that there was a mole? Otherwise, he really could not think of how such a situation could happen. Haha, -ha, old monster, you didn't expect this, did you? Madeo couldn't help but laugh when he saw Qi Changying's expression. Alright, I didn't expect you to have such a powerful infiltration here. We've underestimated you. We thought we could make you suffer a huge loss this time. Qi Changying was so angry that he laughed. He changed his hand seals and suddenly transformed into a group of bats that flew towards the two of them. Trying to run again, Mad Yao used his transformation divine art as well. With a stomp of his foot, a huge earthen wall rose up in an attempt to block all the bats. However, these bats were very fast and agile. A few of them broke through the obstruction and turned into Qi Changying on the other side. You think you can stop me? Just as Qi Changying was feeling smug, he turned around and continued. With a bang, he collided with a barrier. This barrier was formed by an array formation. He was completely dumbfounded. A mole, there must be a mole. Who is it? Come out if you dare. Has screamed a little irrationally. Not only was the despicable mole controlling the teleportation array, he even used the trapping array this time, it was simply impossible to open the door to escape now. It was too ridiculous. This was definitely not something that could be done at the last minute. It must have been researched thoroughly by someone. And that someone should have even obtained the formation diagram to be able to do this. You look angry. Song Shi mocked, so only your sky demon cult is allowed to place spies in our great Kion but we are not allowed to infiltrate your sky demon cult. He followed the other party's words and made it clear that there was a mole. He said coldly, General Ma, you have to seize the opportunity this time. You can't let him escape again. Yes, your highness. Mad Yao charged over. Qi Changying was no match for him and could only dodge. He glanced at Song Shi and revealed a crazy expression as he rushed over. Since he could not escape, he might as well kill one of them. 
Song Shi chuckled and crossed his arms. He did not look flustered at all. A barrier appeared in front of him again and blocked the ladder with a bang. Then, the entire mine was enveloped by the array formation power and Qi Chanjing became a turtle in a jar. He roared and could only fight with Ma Deo. Boom! 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 In the blink of an eye, blood splattered everywhere. No matter how he transformed, he was no match for Madeo, who was at the late stage nascent soul realm. With a loud bang, he was smashed into meat paste. When Qi Chanjing was beaten into his final state in the Sky Demon Cult headquarters, Demon Venerable Yu Hua's expression changed as he took out a token. Three blood-colored words appeared on it. There was a mole.